Hello lovely, in this video we're gonna give you model answers and vocabulary about art. I'm Maria. And my name is Rory, and we're here to help prepare you for IELTS speaking, and have a little bit of fun along the way. Am I a piece of art? Absolutely. Oh, look at Rory. Let's talk about art. Let's talk about art. Do you like modern or traditional art? I'm not sure where you're drawing the distinction, uh, if, if you'll pardon the pun. Um, but I suppose I prefer both for different reasons. Uh, modern art's more relatable to my life because I'm a modern person. Um, but traditional art appeals to higher, more universal concepts, at least in my opinion. So what's modern art? What is modern art? Modern art includes artistic work produced during the period from the 1860s to the 1970s. So, for example, Van Gogh is considered to be modern art. But what do you call art that is produced these days? Oh, is it going to be something like postmodern art then? Because it's after the modern period. Yes, postmodern art or contemporary art. Well, I I don't understand. Is is art is modern and postmodern art? Is it just about a time period? It's nothing to do with the style then. No, no, no. It's about the time period. So art today we can call it uh, contemporary art, postmodern art, but modern art. It's not the art that is produced right now. It's just like Van Gogh, the 1860s, 1970s, yeah. And actually, I think the question is a bit strange because traditional art, what's traditional art? It's theater, poetry, sculpture, drawing, painting, architecture, cinema. So that's traditional art. But again, I just think of like modern, no traditional in the past or at least strongly connected to the past, whereas modern is strongly connected to now. So there you go, I was wrong, but I still used high-level vocabulary. Can we please talk about the high-level vocabulary? You said that modern art is relatable to... to my life. Yeah, it's got a connection to my life, or at least I thought it did. Now I'm thinking that maybe contemporary art has this connection. Sorry, I didn't do well at art in school. And then Rory said that traditional art makes connections, so to make connections, makes connections to something more universal. So, for example, like, uh, traditional art makes connections to universal concepts, like love, beauty. Yeah, that's how I would define it. And, and I suppose, even though I got it wrong and I was factually incorrect, the fact that the grammar and vocabulary is high level means that you'll still get a high score. So, take that. Also, how many art teachers are IELTS examiners? Probably not many. Why do some people dislike art? Well, I doubt they dislike it in general. Um, I suppose uh, they probably just like a specific form that isn't to their taste. Uh, for example, like biologically, we're supposed to be attracted to symmetry and symmetrical faces, so artwork that's not like that uh, might be a bit off-putting. You said that a specific form of art isn't to their taste. So if something is not to my taste, I dislike it. Yeah, it just doesn't appeal to you. For example, most postmodern art does not uh, does not appeal to my taste, or it's not to my taste. Oh, modern sculpture. What? You don't like sculptures? Oh, no, they're cool. I don't know what, where I would put them in my home, but they're cool. No, I want just an example. Modern sculpture isn't to my taste. So I, I dislike it. I don't like it. Or if you really dislike it, you can say, I can't stand modern art. Rory, did you know that there aren't any symmetrical faces? Our faces are not symmetrical. So like one side is kind of organized in one way and another side uh, is different. So we don't have symmetrical faces. No, it's a myth. Not completely symmetrical faces, no. But most of the time your features line up, like your eyes are roughly on the same level and your nose is in line with the eyes. Yes, of course, your face is not completely symmetrical. I mean, look at mine. My hair is parted to one side, for example. And asymmetrical features might be off-putting. So if something is off-putting, it's like... Like, I, I don't like it, it's not attractive, it's not appealing for me, it's off-putting. <laughs> What's art? Well, that's not a difficult question at all, is it? Um, I suppose if I'm pushed, then I would say that art is the attempt uh, to capture uh, something, or, or represent, capture or represent something 
that the artist finds engaging or beautiful. So, for example, uh, the Mona Lisa is da Vinci's attempt to uh, capture uh, the, the moment with this woman and the mystery that surrounds it, in my opinion. And then Rory defined art. What's art? I love this question. Like, what is art? All right. Uh, hmm. What is what is beauty? <laughs> what is what is light? <laughs> and here we use a strategy. We react to the question. Oh wow, that's a difficult one. And then our favorite strategy: if I'm pushed, if I'm pushed, if you push me to answer this question, I'd say that blah blah blah. So if I'm pushed, I would say that art is la 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 la. We make paintings and we can say we make drawings. Or Rory told us do drawings. So that's also possible. So drawings, so we make paintings, do drawings. Another one is masterpieces. So we create masterpieces. Oh, that's a good word. Yeah. Although, is a masterpiece something that is created by anybody or is it something created by an expert? Or is it just talking about the quality? I think we talk about the quality. For example, our podcast, our episodes are masterpieces. Quality. Well, yes, but then the, the question becomes, are they masterpieces because they're well made or are they masterpieces because they're created by you and I and Vanya and we're all amazing? Would it be interesting for you to be an artist? If it means someone who makes paintings and does drawings for a living, then, well, I would certainly be impressed. Um, although, uh, I'm awful at both, and I doubt my doodles would be worth much, to be honest with you. Um, uh, I, I, I doubt most people would benefit from it, though. Uh, I'm, I'm much better off as a teacher. So I can make paintings for a living. Artists make paintings for a living, to do something for a living, like you do something and you earn your living, you earn your money. So we do this podcast for a living and also we have premium episodes. So we sell our premium episodes and this is how we live. So this is our living. So the premium episodes, do check them out. The links are in the description. You can also book classes with me online using another link in the description below. Dear listener, you can say that I wouldn't like to be an artist and I wouldn't like to create art for a living. And you would be just like me. Would you like to create art for a living? You're, you'd be quite good at that. You've made a painting before. Yeah, I can do, you know, art painting with my body. I would just pour all different paints on my body and I would just, you know, like I would paint with my body. I think that's, that would be really cool. That's quite a mental image. You've, you've, <laughs> you've yes, very visual. Can you imagine? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm doing my level best not to imagine, to be honest with you. Yes, dear listener. Can you imagine? Right, now Rory, I've, you... Now I've gone bright red. <laughs> Karen? <laughs> Next oh. question. Yes, doodles. Tell us what doodles mean. Doodles are, they're like small pictures that you draw um, and they're not created for the purpose of making art. They're created for the purpose of relieving boredom or aiding a thought process. They're not classically beautiful. They, they're usually very small. They don't have a lot of effort put into them. Doodles. I draw doodles of monsters. Oh, I draw doodles of monsters. I draw doodles of Rory. I'm really good at doodling. It's like Googling to use Google or doodling. Yeah, could you write in the comments, uh, do you doodle during boring meetings? Or maybe you tend to doodle while listening to our episodes in the comments. On the subject of which, I on this, uh, uh, people drawing things at me. I, about 12 years ago now, I was at university and I was in a club and some random guy walked up to me and handed me a piece of paper and it was folded up. And when I opened it, it was a drawing or a sketch of myself. And apparently the whole time I'd been there, this guy was looking at me and making a drawing of my face. It was, it was very endearing, but it was also really, really weird. This is so cute. I, well, <laughs> you haven't seen the drawing. People draw, draw, people just 
draw Rory just just like that. Beautiful. One one person. One person. Rory, you also said that I'm better off as a teacher. Yeah. So I'm I earn more money as a teacher. Well, uh, it could be to do with making money, but it's also just to do with how uh, your quality of life is. If you're better off doing something, then it's just a better idea or a better um, solution. So I'm a dentist, for example. I'm better off as a dentist. So I'm a good uh, dentist. I'm a real professional. I'm really good at my job. So I'm better off as a dentist or I'm better off as a language teacher. What artwork would you like to have in your house? Well, at this stage, anything would be good for my bare walls, to be honest. Um, uh, I've, I've collected a lot of indigenous and abstract art over the years, in addition to more traditional landscapes that would look good. So I just haven't got around to hanging them up yet, I, I suppose. Um, but I think they would complement the decor nicely. It's just a shame I'm not going to be living where I am for much longer. Artwork. So we have art in our house, we have artwork, we have different art forms in our house. What does Rory have? I have nothing right now. <laughs> Look behind me! You see the walls behind me? This is my entire life. It's just bare walls. But I was thinking about this the other day because one of my friends was complaining about this. And I realized that, okay, the walls are bare, yes, but... I'm very creative in my head, and I think this lack of distraction from outside helps the process inside. So it's not all bad. So you see, dear listener, so this is a bare wall, and now it's not bare. I have a freaking uh, painting. <laughs> so it kind of it matches my, my colors. Did you bring that with you all the way to the studio? No, no, it, it's just like it was lying around here. So I do have some art pieces. You told us that you've collected a lot of indigenous and abstract art. So what's indigenous art? Well, indigenous art is just created by the people that have lived in a place for an extremely long time. And like they have this strong connection to the place. So, for example, I've got... Um, oh, well, I think it's art, but I've recently discovered it's a weapon. Um, it's a club. <laughs> that uh, traditionally is used for smashing people's heads open, uh, or it was used <clears throat> for that. Uh, Rory, I, I think we should stop. Uh, just, just uh, don't do this, okay? Don't Your do what? experience of eating dog was enough. Don't do this club. Don't tell us that you. It's just. Well, it's very beautiful. I quite like it. Um, but yes, it's a, it's a, it, it's now a piece of artwork because obviously people don't do that anymore. But it was created by the people who live in a particular area. Deciding what is indigenous is really difficult, but it's like, it's to do with living or being considered from a place or having a strong connection to it and live there for a long time. Enzo, your painting or drawing could complement the decor. How do you pronounce this word? The decor. Oh, right, the decor. Well, a decor or decor, uh, you can say both and it's okay. But the decor or the decor is just how the house is decorated. And if we talk about, what was the other thing? Oh, compliment. Uh, compliment just means matches up or enhances something. So for example, you and I compliment each other, not because we say nice things, but because we work well together. So dear listener, could you write in the comments what artwork do you have in your house? Or you can imagine that, oh, I have this and that indigenous artwork in my house, or I'd like to have this, write in the comments, use some nice vocabulary, you can check it out and uh, tell us about it. I think it's time we hit the exit button on this episode. Bye! Bye!